I have been friends for almost 10 years. We're with each other all the time, whether we're working or just being crazy. We love being together. It's got to the point where we're not just friends, we're like fake. We laugh, we love, we cry, we laugh some more. As we go through the ups and downs, no matter where life's roller coaster takes us, we know we'll get through it together. And along the way, we've met some amazing people. Shauna! Keely met Shauna through an ex. Yeah, and at first she hated me. Well, she thought you were loud and obnoxious. I am! <laughs> anyway, Shauna is a good time girl who loves fashion and is always there whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a wingman at the club. Which is where Joey comes in. Shauna introduced us to Mr. J. Ryan a few years back. He's got his hands into every aspect of the LA scene. Promoter, publicist, and self-proclaimed socialite, Joey is all about being seen and making that money. Gucci! The baby of the group is Asia. This little dancer from the valley is young, full of life, and brings a positive light to... Everything. I know, right? God, yes. But she's our little sunshine, and we love it. Each week, the five of us meet for dinner to talk life, love, and everything in between. We don't always agree. Nope, no we do not. <laughs> but we always tell the truth. This is Dinner with Friends. I missed you guys. I didn't like being away from you all weekend. I didn't like you being away from me. Did you see what happened? Uh, Would I you know. leave me alone to my Sorry. Own? <laughs> While I was away, we have been, this is what I want to start with. One of the fans of the show wrote in and said, Dear Friends, Hey, how are you? <laughs> My boyfriend and I broke up in August after being together for a year and a half. We haven't talked at all since. It was a pretty tough breakup and considering I was in love with him and I still am. I do see him every weekend. Other than that, he's completely deleted out of my life. However, there's not been a day that goes by without thinking of him. It's even hard to talk to our other guy friends because no one can compare to him. Should I give him a second chance? Keely, I know what your opinion is on this and I need you to say this what because do you think my opinion is? I already know. Absolutely not. No, no second chance because that's the advice you've given to me many times. None whatsoever. I am sorry. If I went down that road and it led me to a dead end, I'm not going back down that same road again. He obviously broke up with her because she said she was still in love with him. So he palmed you and you're going to go and give him? No, no, you are not. But no, you are not. Life is about okay. learning and growing from everything. Because of the fact that most people are good, you know, we're, we're all growing, you know? And so because of that, people are going to learn from their mistakes. That's why you should give them that second chance. If you don't even give them that second chance to know that, you know, because I got that second chance, I'm now gonna be a better person or I'm now gonna do something better or do right, you know, then what else do you have to go from there? You say most people are good. I think most people are bad. Me too. So speaking directly to that person, it depends on what he did. So if he did something that you think you can, you can forgive, second chance if you didn't then just give him the stiffest arm palm you can possibly give him and tell him to keep pushing i'll start with saying this i've been the person that's been on the opposite end of being like look i'm sorry i messed up i really really do love you i was just I really forgot. i was just really busy for a while <laughs> cha cha and stuff my bad like i didn't mean to Please take me back. And when I got stiff arm palmed, it was really hurtful because it was like, we had such a great foundation and I was kind of, I did get lost. And I will say, I'm a person that I, I got lost, I had to grow. And so when I figured it out, like, wow, I, I've traveled, I've done things, and I've never met anyone that even comes close to the amount of love I have for you. And I'm coming back asking you, Please give me another chance. I feel like the way I treated the relationship towards the end would have been a lot different if I were to get another chance. I think you and everyone else wants the second chance. It just depends on the person on whether they're going to give the second chance or not. Yeah. I didn't get one. So when you keep doling out, doling out chances and keep doling out your forgiveness, all you're going to get is somebody who's taking advantage of you and taking advantage of your kind heart. If you're going to give a second chance, should whoop their ass first. <laughs> right? And then get a quick beat down like, yo, you want a second chance? Uh. <laughs> Knocking cold. Now we're they good. get back up and you'll be like, yo, we're good, my We're man. good, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's no chance, no chance, no chance.
Uh, while we're on the subject of second chances, I want to get on to Lindsay Lohan. Because Lilo, we have to talk <laughs> about her tonight. I, I love. I feel to talk like about this her. is. If you're talking about second chances, you're talking about celebrities. You're talking about career second chances. Exactly, and that's what I'm getting on. Yes, career second chances. And recently in an interview, Lindsay Lohan stated that she just wants her career back. She wants a second chance in her acting career. She wants to make everything better. She's changed. Top freaking cookies. I'm sorry. You should have thought about that when you're putting all that coke up your nose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All I'm thinking about is Joy Cole and Lindsay Lohan. Ham. <laughs> is what the ham is. Okay. Sorry, Personally, baby. Lindsay, honestly, I like you as an actress, but there's also a such thing as an Emma Stone, and I'm sorry, boo, but she's getting all your roses. Woo! That bitch is sick. She got the polka dots on her face, and that's everything that you have, boo, boo. <laughs> polka dots? Not freckles. Freckles, polka dots, same thing, but that's Lindsay Lohan. It's like they found Emma Stone and was like, all right, bye, bitch. Go on with your bad self. Well, they always say for every you, there's somebody who wants it more who's gonna willing to do more, who's gonna work harder, who's gonna be better. And so I think that Lindsay, with all that coke up her nose, forgot the fact that there were a bunch of little girls, like Emma from Scottsdale, what's up baby? We worked on this together, she's awesome. Who so are willing, awesome. who are literally willing to do everything that you will do and more. And she was, she got caught up in her own personal fame. She kept messing up. It wasn't even like you messed up once, it was like you messed up twice, a third time, a yeah, fourth time, a fifth time, a sixth time. This is not necessarily a second time. chance. Yeah. She needs to look at other celebrities that have been given those, which are celebrities that have mm. stayed in their house. Don't go out to the club with your alcohol in your smart water. water. You're not fooling your anybody. Smart water. Don't go it's out. It's vodka in there. Even if that were to be water, don't go out with it. Don't go out at all. Stay home. <laughs> not you. by yourself. Huh? No, not by yourself. With, with someone, your family. With with, with people that care well, about not you. Not with family, because her dad is on celebrity rehab right okay. now. And she so. needs to be on celebrity rehab. Because I know you said that nobody wants to see her, but girl, if you was on celebrity rehab, <laughs> the ratings would be yeah, but, out the roof. But that's what you're talking about is stuff, that's celebrity stuff that is really, she's going to be on the show for a season, and maybe she'll be lucky enough to get on another celebrity reality show in a, in a few months, but that's not a career. So that's she's really a sad about it. She's, so she's a good actress. She could actually be working right now in the problem the reason why she's not is because she's more interested in the stuff that you're talking about than the stuff that we're talking about which is like drew barrymore kind of stuff robert downey jr kind of stuff who, people who, people who are actually on on drugs serious drugs but you know what they did they went back home they kept it together they woosa they realized that everything they were doing is wrong and they uh -huh. actually have a craft and they're going to pursue that craft but she's not interested in that she's interested in making the story for herself because the mm -hmm. story is more important than the movie and that is why she doesn't need a second chance and that emma stone does need to take her place because emma stone isn't interested in the story she's interested in working opposite ryan gosling I she's like hell yeah what I Tell me that I just didn't do a love scene with Ryan Gosling. I, I feel like I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Emma Stone is more interested in her career, mm -hmm. and so for Lindsay to come back and say, "I just want a second chance at my career," it's like, okay, we'll figure it out then. Get it together, clean yourself up, and then you might have a chance at your career. Because Emma Stone, you don't see her at Hyde. You don't see her coming out of there stumbling or anything. If she's there, maybe she's there for a birthday party every once in a while. You see those kind of celebrities going out when they have something to promote, not right. just to be at the opening of an envelope because they're more focused on their career. There are two types of celebrities, professional celebrities and people who are famous because they actually did something good. I think we can all agree that it has nothing to do with how much you party, it has to do with the balance between your partying and your commitment to your work. As far as second chances in relationships go, we have all like debated, but I think we can all agree that it, it is circumstantial. It depends on what happened. You know, mm -hmm. you don't want to be taken advantage of, but you also, you, you don't want to be so quick to say no. Yeah, well, well I want I you to know, like, I felt, I mean, especially getting onto the celeb talk pick, I, I got a little heated about this. Oh, this is, like, a lot. But this is one conversation where we all have a completely different point yeah. of view. Yes. And so yeah. I really enjoyed this conversation. Thank you, guys. I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, God, next Woo. week. Woo! Woo!